No one will ever write the novel of Naples. The pen cannot describe on paper the soul of the city that cries laughing, prays cursing, suffers singing. Hello everyone, in this video we are going to be counting down the top 10 Neapolitan books that we recommend you read if you want to learn more about the Neapolitan language, Neapolitan literature, or about Naples and Campania in general. These books have been chosen because they either reflect a great source of information on La Lingua Napolitana, books that speak of Naples and Neapolitan life in great detail with regards to its history and its inhabitants, or just some literature that is an absolute must read if you're into the culture of the Neapolitan setting. We will see many different styles of books from fiction and stories, Neapolitan literature, to the Neapolitan language dictionaries, history, to jokes and cuisine. Many of these books can be found on Amazon or any good online bookstore and a simple search in Google should hopefully do the trick. Let's get straight into our list of top 10 Neapolitan books that we recommend you read. Please note, this is not in any particular order. So, let's begin. The Other Italy, the literary canon in dialect by Hermann Holla. The book offers a fantastic source of the literary dialects from all over Italy, over five centuries and across the country's regions, shedding light on the multicultural civilization outside of everyday Italian. It covers everything from Dante to examples of texts in Neapolitan and other dialects and as a guide to reading and research. It provides a compendium of literary sources in dialect, arranged by region and accompanied by synthesis of regional traditions with selected textual illustrations. It is truly a work of extraordinary importance and it was the winner of the Modern Language Association of America's Aldo and Jean Scaglione Publication Award for a manuscript in Italian literary studies. It will serve scholars as an indispensable resource book for years. We highly recommend giving it a read. Lo Conto dei Liconti or sometimes called Il Pentamerone which was written by Boy Giambattista Basile is a book full of magic and adventure that focuses on fairy tales by the brothers Grimm and Grimm's fairy tales, but with a Neapolitan twist. The stories contain a heavy Baroque style with many metaphorical uses. All of the tales are set in the Basilicata or Campania and it's actually structured around a fantastic frame story in which 50 stories are related over the course of five days. Stories like Rapunzel, Cinderella, Puss in Boots and Sleeping Beauty to name a few examples. It is definitely a book to keep in the bookshelf in your collection. Quick tip, on our YouTube channel you can find some of the stories that we have narrated from a version of the book. So be sure to check that one out too before you purchase it. Poeti Napoletani dal 600 ad oggi by Ettore De Mura this beautiful book centers on poems and Neapolitan life and culture in the way of history, non-fiction, films and comedies, novels and short stories, and ancient themes. It is an anthology book with great illustrations and portraits. Reading these poems in your garden with a nice glass of wine will give you so much nostalgia and bring you instantly back to a calmer Naples. This book will keep you thinking, dreaming and wanting to read the poems aloud. Napoli nella storia, 200.500 anni, dalle origini greche al secondo millennio, by Attilio Wanderling. This is a history of Naples book, from its origins to the 2000s, that reads quite easily like a novel, perhaps because the events of the city lend themselves to the narration of characters, events, heroisms and miseries intertwined with the changing urban landscape and the social classes. The work contains a great historical research and a great point of analysis. In fact, it is necessary not only to know the events of the city, but also to interpret its meaning in order to draw lessons from it to the present. The book is, therefore, suitable for those who want to know the facts of the city, but also for those who want to think about the meaning of the events. 365 lezioni semiserie su Napoli e la napoletanità da studiare una al giorno comodamente seduti by Amedeo Colella This book we highly recommend to anyone who has any cultural gaps about Naples and Neapolitanism who wish to brush up on their napoletanità It is written so that you can learn a lesson a day in the manner of the Neapolitan way of life in Campania and Naples It will learn you many things and answer your many questions like When were the four days of Naples? And the two Neapolitan republics? Why was Via Toledo called Via Roma for 150 years? Who were the eight kings of Naples represented in Piazza Plebiscito? It even gives you a Neapolitan culture test at the start of the book. This is a great and handy little book to have around. 
La cucina napoletana by Jenny C. Francesconi. This is our favorite Neapolitan cookbook, hands down, that contains 483 easy to perform ancient and modern recipes and desserts. It is a large volume of 500 pages with illustrations taken from older texts. It contains many of the mouth-watering delights from the Neapolitan cuisine and has a very useful Neapolitan Italian glossary to clarify the dialectal terms too. We really recommend this book if you love food and culture, especially that of Neapolitan cooking. Grammatica diacronica del Napoletano by Adam Ledgeway This is probably one of the best Neapolitan grammar books we have had the opportunity to come across due to having the blessing of a great library in our city. It was written by an academic from Cambridge University and the volume that we came across provides extensive documentation and in-depth diachronic description of Neapolitan phonology, morphology and synax which is comprehensive enough to qualify as a reference grammar bridging the gap between the familiar data of standard Romance languages. Modern Etymology Neapolitan to English Vocabulary by P. Bello and D. Erwin This book is an absolute novelty due to its systematic presence of key Neapolitan terms and phraseology translated into English and Italian. The results are convincing, even for a Neapolitan person. Surely to the English-speaking people interested in the Neapolitan language and the Neapolitan culture, this book should be studied. The Four Part Series by Elena Ferrante, L'Amica Geniale, Storia del Nuovo Cognome, Storia di Chi Fugge e di Chi Resta, and Storia della Bambina Perduta. The female author writes a coming-of-age story that she considers four books as a single novel. The series follows the lives of two intelligent girls, Elena and Raffaella, from childhood to adulthood to old age, who come from a poor neighborhood on the outskirts of Naples as they try to create lives for themselves amidst the violent culture of their home. The series was later adapted into a two-part play and then into a TV series. The series won the long list of the International IPAC Dublin Literary Award and it was nominated for the Strega Pride, an Italian literary award. The Guardian ranked the initial book on the 11th best books since the year 2000 and the overall series was also listed in Vulture as one of the 12 new classics since 2000. If powerful women and a good strong backstory is your thing, then why not check out the series? Napoli Insolita e Segreta by Valeria Ceva Grimaldi A wonderful private theatre, the smallest typography museum in the world. The secret deposits of the National Archaeological Museum, extraordinary libraries are known even to Neapolitans, a very unique clock that measures the equation of time. These are only some of the many secrets of Naples that Valerio shares with us in his book, which many people would never have known about if not reading his work. Valerio also has many other books in the series, very similar to this one, such as Campagna Isolata e Segreta. It's definitely worth a read. Here are some honorable mentions. L'avventure d'Alice in due paesi e meraviglie by Lewis Carroll translated by Roberto D'Aiello Leggende napoletane by Matilde Serrao Storie e leggende napoletane by Benedetto Croce Il ventre di Napoli by Matilde Serrao And that concludes this video for now. If you have noticed one of your favorite Neapolitan books isn't on our list, why not comment and tell us why it's a great book to read? Please, as always, give this video a like so that we can see if people are enjoying our videos and subscribe if you haven't already done so and we can continue to make more great content in the future. Thanks for now and see you all in the next video.